Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to the Trailblazer series. Uh, we're starting off today's episode with doing some... Uh, after the last episode we got the, uh, the the Tier 5 Relic and we picked Infernal Gathering. Infer is it Infernal Gathering? Is it called for Infer yeah, Infernal Gathering? And uh, with that, we when we fish, we also cook. And I'm fishing Karambons because they're like the most AFK thing. I think you can AFK for about 6 minutes before you actually need to click, which is... Perfecto when you're trying to edit. Um, we're currently sitting on 3.5 million cooking uh, XP an hour. I'm already up to 84, and I've only caught 120, 112 uh, fish, which is actually only 56. Oh, actually, no, because on that counter, it doesn't do the double, does it? Anyway, we're catching really quickly. We get an XP really quickly. We're, we're just shy of a million XP fishing an hour. 3.5 million cooking an hour. That is insane. And I'm not doing anything. I'm literally not even clicking. This is mental. We're going to be getting some fat levels this episode. Um, but yeah. Also, we're going to be doing a lot of Slayer. Because I want to go and get that whip, baby. I want to get that whip. And also, I want to unlock Mauritania. Get to Gargoyles. Get a load of money. Get a load of upgrades. Decent. That's the plan, lads. Enjoy the episode. Okay, to give you an idea of how good this relic is... We're essentially one-tapping these iron ores, and we're getting two steel bars per click. <laughs> this is actually mental. Like, I'm surprised they didn't do these to iron bars. And then, look, there's 55 smithing coming in. Uh, and then you have to do coal for, uh, I guess, normal steel, and there's 62 mining. Uh, we're up to 94 fishing and 95 cooking as well. We're only doing... Um, uh, I, I AFK'd Karamb ones for like two hours and got six uh, got six point seven million cooking XP and one point eight million uh, fishing XP as well. So this this relic BOP. Uh, I mean it doesn't help out any of the other skills other than like this side bar bar farming. Um, but <laughs> Jesus. This is also good for crafting as well because I can make loads of gold bars, loads of steel, uh, silver bars as well, and then just go on like a crafting spree, which uh, I think you get if you do tiaras. It's about a million XP an hour, which uh, isn't bad for the old crafting gains. Decent. I just thought I'd let people know in case they're they're wondering about this botanist or equilibrium, uh, just to see the benefits of what this relic has to show. I'm on six hundred. And 50k smithing XP an hour, and about 1.3 million uh, mining XP an hour as well. And I'm I'm not being really sort of click efficient here. I'm just you know winging it while watching Netflix. But yeah, stop rambling now. Okay, so interesting note about Infernal. Um, so I just got 70 mining, so I mine some adamant, but I don't have 70 smithing. Interest interestingly enough, it still gives you the adamant bar even if you don't have the smithing, which is pretty mad. So you can kind of boost with it as well, which uh, you love to see. Right, so I've just hit uh, 68 smithing, which means I can now make mithril plate bodies. So if I make that, and if I do this, even though I already have a set, but YOLO. <laughs> and if I do this, and then I go bop, bop, bop. 10 points, equip a full set of mithril. Very nice. All right, we're back at it again with a beginner casket. And again, it doesn't fail to disappoint. Decent. I thought this might be a challenge, but there we go. Or a task. I keep calling them fucking chant task. Complete the Sears Village Agility course. We had a, uh, an elite clue up there. But uh, there we go. 100 points for that. Decent. Right, please can this have a unique in it. Please. I beg. I beg of itch. Oh, there we go. Fill five beginner clue collection log slots. 50 points. Very nice. And uh nice bit of fashion scape. Decent. So I totally forgot there's a tanner in the crafting guild. Uh, so if we do soft leather, whack that on that. Make a leather body. There is craft leather body. 10 points. Very nice. All right. I think this is a challenge. It's also like really fucking late at night. Oh my God. I need a shovel. Give me shovel. Let me go. Sick. All right. I think this is a challenge. Yeah, boy. Harvest 
an irrit leaf. 50 points and 45 farming. What does that give us? Maple trees. Ho oh, ho. Go on then. Sad to see that we've just unlocked the fucking farming guild. But, um, alas. Zaya is a no go, boys. So I guess I'm just going to have a little cry and uh, go to sleep. No, I. Like, I feel like this should be a challenge, like checking your first normal tree. Go on. 10 points. Go on, I dare you. I am furious. Okay, so this here, I think he's going to be like 100 points. Um, so I just got 61 um, Hunter, and these Red Salamanders are 59. And there we go. Catch a Swamp Lizard or Salamander, 50 points. And I think this alone might be 50, either that or 100. 50, there you go. Catch a Red Salamander. Very nice indeed. Easy 50 points. And uh, just do your birdhouse runs. That's coming from me, and I'm the laziest person when it comes to that. So, if I do it, you do it. I just missed the bloody pop-up again because I didn't even realise I was already on 50 tasks. But there's 50 tasks, which is uh, 100, uh, 100 points. 50 Slayer tasks, that is. 100 points for doing that. And, uh, oh, there's 95 strength coming in. Very nice. We're up to 690 points as well, like Slayer points. Um, but we need 82 more tasks, and then we can unlock Mauritania. Okay, this is our first Wyvern kill, and there is 50 points for doing it on Fossil Island. Gives us 150 of them. Gonna bury the bones as well. We've already done the challenge for that with the dragon bones, but 50 points, very nice. Okay, one more, one more, come on. <laughs> there we go, 99 cooking, which is also a 250 pointer. Our second 99 on leagues, and, uh... We can go to the Cook's Guild and uh, get ourselves a cape. But that took us up to nine point, just shy of 9.5 million fishing XP. Um, I think we started, on, I think it was around 80 cooking, maybe 83 cooking, because I needed to get 80 for doing sharks. Um, and we've really only been doing this for two, three hours. We're on, I, I, at some point I was hitting about 3.2 million XP an hour. Uh, currently I'm on 2.6 um, with about 700k um, uh, fishing XP as well. So the XP race with this are actually mental. It's You only have to click every six minutes and because that, that's when the uh, logout timer is, um, which is mental. Like the, the combination of Endless Harvest and Infernal Gathering is just OP as fuck for AFK in. And... It is a beautiful scene. Okay, I just missed the pop-up, but we just hit a huge cooking milestone, and that is 25 million XP in cooking, which is an elite task, which is 250 points. Uh, we're closing in on 99 cooking as well. We've got 390 XP, 390k XP left, which is about 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, very nice to see indeed. I've also just noticed the fucking 73, to 73 million total. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Okay, one more, one more, come on. And there it is, 99 fishing, another 250 points coming in, and another 99. That's two 99s in one day, and a 25 million. We do indeed <clears throat> be gaming. Uh, you love to see it. Honestly, this, this fucking relic, man, is ridiculous. Re ridiculous the combination of endless harvest and infernal gathering is just so we were sitting at like 3.7 million cooking xp an hour and a little under a million fishing uh xp an hour as well um looking at last episode we finished on 92 um fishing and 82 cooking so whew, we have done <laughs> a lot of xp uh in I say two day, a, a day, but it's not actually been a day, because um, you know I haven't been no life in it. We've gone, we've got twenty, just just under twenty four million cooking XP in about six hours, I think it was, and we've gone up. Uh, I think I just hit ninety two fishing, so like seven and a half million fishing XP as well. Um, wild, absolutely wild. And to give you a comparison, like of what else we've done. Uh, We've also gone up nine mining levels and 
uh, 16 spitting levels, and I only did that for like an hour. So I don't even actually. I don't even think it was an hour. I think it was about half hour. I was just trying out the iron ticking, and uh, pretty mental. Um, but yeah, two ninety nines in well in the bag now. Well, three ninety nines in the bag, counting yesterday's ninety nine. Um, very much uh, ga- gaming in progress. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm AFK'd out now, man. I think I'm going to go and do some more Slayer. Um, Yeah. Decent. Okay, and I think that is going to do it for this episode. I know I said I was going to do a bit of Slayer, but I have been doing some Slayer on the side of doing fishing and cooking. Um, But we're up to 8,740 points now with 222 tasks completed. 78 more, and we'll unlock Mauritania. Uh, To go through our stats, 70 attack, 95 strength, 62 defense, 40 range, 49 prayer, 66 magic, 59 runecrafting, 42 construction, 84 hit points, 66 agility, 43 herb lore, 67 thieving, 55 crafting, 65 fletching, 77 slayer, uh, 61 hunter, 70 mining and smithing, 99 fishing, 99 cooking with 26 point just shy of 5 uh, million total XP, 82 fire making, which I've been working on, um, and 99 f- uh, wood cutting, and 46 farming. We're up to a total level of 1566, with a combat of 96 as well. Very nice indeed. We've done a lot of game in this episode. We've got a couple of 99s as well, which you love to see. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. And uh, let me know how you're getting on with a, with a league's grind in the comments. Anyway. I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.